Welcome to another edition of Between Two Plants. I'm your host, Hangover Allen, your co-host, Carlos, and I'm really nervous right now because my guest is Greg McEwen. I thought you were dead. Greatly over-exaggerated, as you most do most things. See, people are just dying to get in. Well, the, it's because I know I'm in here, bro. Well, What's up? I mean, do you think Greg just had a stroke? And um, yeah, tell him my medical history. Somehow he's sitting here beside me. I do have to ask Dean a question. Dean, if you were going to bring somebody back from the dead to perform at the fourth annual Spa City Rocktoberfest. Couldn't you have picked somebody like Kurt Cobain or Dio or Prince? Anybody other than Greg McEwen? Well, it, it, uh, it was an alphabetical water he was G, so he came up. Kurt Cobain's dead. Man, that's right. I guess I did have a stroke, huh? <clears throat> Do we have a physician standing by? <sighs> Come on, man. You're wasting my Let's go. So, what have you been doing um, since I've seen you last, which was not long ago? I don't long remember long when you saw me last. Because um, you had a stroke. Yeah, I did have a stroke. It wasn't actually a full-on stroke. It was like a TIA between a stroke. I had one in like 2013. Kind of like a limp stroke and not a hard stroke. Hey, yeah, more of a flaccid stroke. Can I see that? Yeah. yeah. Is that allowed? I don't know. Carlos what, doesn't nobody know prepped what, me for this. Carlos doesn't know what that is. <clears throat> no. So have you met my kids? Yes, I have. So you know I'm not worried about offending children. Still trying to see if yeah. you know I might be their father. You got to. You hadn't met my granddaughter yet, though. I have, a not, I have not. Yeah, yeah believe it or I'm not. Definitely not your granddaughter. The youngest so. grandfather in the husband, world, or whatever. <laughs> what? Did you say so, um, I don't know. I don't know. So you don't have a band anymore. You're just by yourself. Uh. Well, yeah. I'm just. I'm going to be up there with the acoustic. <clears throat> I am bringing the piano because if I don't, I get nasty emails, you know, from back in the day. Even. But I don't but say anything about the pianos when I send you those emails. I'm not repeating the emails that you send me. Well, you just said nasty emails, so everybody yeah. knows now. No. Thanks. They wouldn't. I wasn't referring to you there. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Keep it clean, man. Right. <clears throat> no, the band, uh, you know, we're all kind of getting older, especially you. And But the guys, they just really decided to kind of, they got families and they bought houses. And we've been touring and touring and touring until COVID hit. We just, you know, we were fixing to leave for the USO tour. And we were just, all this stuff. And then COVID, you know, stopped it. We all just kind of got tired and got used to being home. And I think they got used to being home. And. They were all kicking on up there in their 50s, so, you know. I didn't hear a word you just said because I'm still stuck on the you said I was old. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. So you, you're still sponsored by the Make Believe Core Water? Uh, actually, it's te there's tequila in that, but, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, our next guest loves tequila. Can she have some? Who is your next guest? Just, I just want to know if our next guest can have some tequila. Yes. Okay. I mean, is just, it in her just rider check it or out. what? I mean, what's in your rider nowadays? You still got those um, pink M and M's that you have to have? <laughs> pink M and M's. Yeah. No, um, I don't really do much of a rider anymore. No. Uh uh. Because no, we usually stop it on the liquor store on the way to the show, and uh, rider means you have to pay more people. That means there's more money going out. That means, uh, you know. man, I'm getting close to retirement myself. I may want to. You are old. I, yeah, I may want to just retire and produce. I'm going to go to work for Dean. You know, I don't think Dean would have you. Is he taking applications? Well, I mean, from what Dean told me, he just felt sorry for you, and that's why you're opening up for That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I could yeah. tell there was something different in his voice. Well, also, he was <clears> shocked <throat> to hear that you're alive as I was. Well, uh, my doctor. I mean, it's kind of like POSIX, who used to play for you. I hear he's walking now. I mean... I don't know. There's he said, hey, happening all the he time. says he's coming tomorrow. But Posix is going to be that's there. That's what he said. Posix is in this audience. He said, that's what he said, you know, but I and mean, he walked. 
Look, God said he was coming a long time ago too, so I don't know. I, mean, no, I don't know if he's walking or not, but look, here's the thing. If he's not walking, tell him to hurry his ass up. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. Yeah. Then he's crawling like he used no, to. He's, uh, no, he's, I think he's it's on that little push around thing. Oh, a scooter? No, not like a not like a high dollar expensive scooter. Oh, because yeah, he's a broke musician. Well, he he used to work for me. What do you expect? Yeah, you don't pay shit. No, I wouldn't pay you shit. Yeah. You didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> so for y'all that don't know, I used to manage this guy, and I was kind of hoping that when everybody told me he was dead, he was. But well, you got like a life insurance policy. Do you and April have something worked out? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Is April here? <clears throat> no, she sent me with um, with babysitters. Man, really? Okay. As long how many years you will we know? Like twenty, twenty five years of knowing each other. I tell my wife I'm, I'm going old. to the Arlington for an interview. Right? <laughs> How's that going to work out? <clears throat> I'm laughing. Because She's probably <laughs> looking in the window somewhere, checking. I'm laughing seat. because there's stories. Yeah. <laughs> that started kind of like this. Right between the two of us. I still can't go to Embassy Suites. <laughs> or what was that Mexican restaurant or what restaurant was that? Yeah, you can't go there either. I don't know. I can't go to the Porter House here in in um, Hot Springs. They kicked me out. But you know what? They waited till I paid the bill. Wasn't that nice of them? Hey, if you're going to kick me out, the bill's on you. And you know why they kicked me out? Because you weren't wearing a mask? No. Oh, wait, it's a long time ago. No, it was not that long ago. It was a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a ghost hunter. Because you're a ghost hunter? Yeah, I'm a paranormal investigator, so they kicked me out. No lie. Happened. True story. True story. Oh, man. That's... Yeah. Anyway, back to you. This ghosts. is about you, not me. It's all about you. Well, which, that's the way you live your life. All about you. I know it's fresh to talk about somebody else instead of me all the I, time. I, it's very surprising that you let somebody else talk about yeah. something. Yeah. Or, yeah. I don't know. So what are you going to play? You going to play songs that you remember? Or? <laughs> no, I'm going to play some I've never heard before. Okay. Yeah. Is there a st stupid button over here? <clears throat> no. Uh, I mean, do you are remember? we going to have old McEwen? Are we yeah. going to have new McEwen? Are we going to have little boats? I'm just, just going to bring in. Remember when we were doing a bunch of stuff at the Rev Room years and years and years ago? And I'm surprised you did. Yeah. A lot of tequila back then, too. And, um, but when Posix was upright... And I don't, I don't know. I hadn't. We hadn't had any of those songs on the set list for years. Speaking so I of, thought, real if he's quick, be there. real quick in between. Yeah. Speaking of Posix being upright, is that kind of like a tripod? Ah. Anyway, anyway. <clears throat> so what are you playing? Depends on what bus you're on. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We had Frank. <laughs> Go ahead. The very first. Uh, probably do songs like Broken and and stuff like that. We had. Uh, remember, Broken was the song that my guitar player at the time. I'm not going to name him, but uh, he had some issues, and we were going to give the song away for free the first 24 hours. And he goes back in there, and there was like 83,000 something downloads, and he never went in and pushed the add button, so we lost 83,000 free downloads. And everybody's like, did you fire him? I said, no, but uh, I get that. we had shows to do, so I didn't want to replace, have a replace a guitar player that fast, or yeah, he would have been fired. Well, as much as I want to keep catching up like this, no, you're about to hit the stage, yeah. and you're about to kick off the fourth annual Rock to or I'm sorry. Is this the, the fourth, fourth one? Fourth annual Is it really? Spa City Rocktober Music Festival. Wow. It's kicking off with Greg McEwen. And I interviewed you, and I never mentioned Amy Lee. Thank you for joining us. Foul. Thank foul. you for joining us. Foul. <laughs> this is the part where I walk off. Greg McEwen, up next. <laughs> 